subculture is a group of people in society that is based on religion, race, interest and occupation. People often use stereotypes to describe a subculture which can distort reality. Teenagers are generally placed in a certain subculture and given tags like chavs, hipsters, geeks, emos, goths and bimbos. We are at the Sixth Form College, Solly Hall, to see just how true these statements are. There are various different portrayals of stereotypes in the media today. According to many stories on the news, films and TV series, chaps are violent and aggressive and spend their day committing crimes and disturbing their community. Another Hood is a great example of a film that depicts a negative light on chaps. Stereotypes are simply assumptions about certain groups of people. These judgments are based on appearance, ethnicity, race and culture. It is argued that the stereotypical view has become increasingly common and, unfortunately, increasingly real. When asking students at the Sixth Form College, Solly Hall, a whopping 87% of them admitted to stereotyping other people based on their first impressions. Our aim is to prove to you that these stereotypes are rare and not always true. Though stereotypes are generally portrayed as negative, it is part of pop culture. A comment on an online blog said, Stereotypes are used too often in the world that we live in. People today make judgments about others before they know anything about them and it's just not fair. On another online blog was the remark, Stereotypes do not help characterise different groups of people simply because most stereotypes do not describe a person or a group by its values or ideas, but mainly by physical or easily seen traits. These statements demonstrate the negativity people associate with stereotypes. Professionals spoke to us about their views on teenage stereotypes. There is always a subconscious level of stereotyping that goes on with anybody. As soon as we meet somebody without them having said anything at all, mm -hmm. we make some kind of assessment about them and we just can't help doing that, it's inbuilt. It's whether you act upon that stereotyping, that's the important thing. I would um, not say that they stereotype intentionally. Part of our job here, I think, is to change people's stereotypes. When I look at people, I, I make an observation about them. I think about the culture that they're from, the clothes that they wear, the attitude that they display, and based on what responses I get back, either visual or verbal or whatever, I start to piece together in my mind what I think they might be like, which might affect how I build a relationship with them. So I would hope that if I am making assessments of people rather than judgments and assumptions about people, that is something that I do to consider my relationship with students. Although these stereotypes can be true, they often exaggerate assumptions, meaning that we are prejudging a person and not accepting them as an individual. Therefore, you are more likely to make errors in your assessment of a person's character. We have asked a range of students from college if they are stereotyped and whether they stereotype people and why. I prejudge them, so yeah, I don't know, it's just human nature in it. I don't judge a book by its cover. No, because I think it's wrong. Uh, no, I don't, but I think the only reason people do it is because it's quicker to judge someone on what they look like than actually getting to know them. Yeah, I say I would have, but mainly by the older generations because they don't really understand that the way I dress is like doesn't reflect my beliefs. Okay, so if you saw someone with skinny jeans, um, a baggy shirt, a hat and long hair, what would you class them as? Well, I see most of those people around college every day, so it's mm. a hipster. We asked professional Andy Morris why he believes teenagers are influenced by stereotypical portrayals in the media. They identify with each other something in terms of their clothes or what they stand for, their particular interests, the activities they get up to, or they're in if they live in the same postcode. 